And welcome back. How's it going, everybody? I'm some guy named Nate. And I'm Sandy IBG. And this is VGM. For March. March. March, March yes. 2019's VGM today showed up. Smells good. Smells good. Smells, smells like games. Smells like retro good treasures. Smushy goodness. There is a little crumple on the back side of the box. I hope no has got clipped. Yeah. But, uh, I hope not, but usually VGM is pretty cool with how they package shit. I, so, thank you. I think their their 10-game box could be upgraded a little. Yeah, like a little bit of a bigger box. I feel like this is good for a lot of their other subscriptions, which, but once you get into the 10-game uh, box like we have, it makes it kind of bulgy, and it really limits what games you can put in there. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm like, okay, well, there's going to be a bunch of small games in here. Yeah. Like, if, you, if I got just a little bit bigger box, I'm like, I could have small games, I could have big games. Yes. I, could, I don't know what's going to be in here. the limit. Like, games, games, games. So... So I'd be okay with it. either way. Thank you, VGM. VGM, if you're watching this, that's my that's my only critique so far, and maybe a little extra value. Yes. Because after the boxes, um, if you guys don't know this about VGM, um, they give you sort of like your you pay for you uh, this amount on a box, you're going to get that amount worth of games. Yeah. And usually with these mixture boxes, people like to get just a little extra value, like yeah, um, like okay, I paid seventy five, and I'm getting like. $85, $85, games. $95 worth of games. Yes. I want my shipping and handling and my my box to be covered, kind of the other way. Yeah. But still, VGM, thank you. You still great. Still one of the best subscriptions out there. We love you. And I'm glad that you realized that we unboxed this. <coughs> so, love you, bro. Love you. All right, Real first hard. thing out of the box are the trinkets, and of course, they start putting food trinkets. In every one of my boxes, because they know that yeah. you do this with me. <laughs> Thank you. So you get a cozy, I get a cozy. Right. I'm gonna show you because usually I think the last one we got was red. Red. So this yep. one's Blue. Player two, baby. Did you get to put one? This no. Two? No. Oh, I thought one that said player one. That player would, two. That I'm would like, be hilarious. That would have been hilarious. But no, <laughs> I was, no, like, I was what? making that joke. But they know. I'm like, no, I'm player one. <laughs> <laughs> But no, guys, usually player one's red, player two's blue. So I was thinking maybe they gave us a player oh, okay. one, so they gave us a player two. I was like, no, my drink is player one, is player two, we're going to play a game. So um, and we got a one-up, which says that we got one extra item so in the get, box. get that hot 11 game action. 11 games. And the right normal, there. you know, thank you. Uh, contest and thank you. So Yes. So if you guys want to enter the contest, if you get a VGM box, share it on their Facebook page, and you can win three free games. Three free. 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 Three for free for free. I hate that commercial, though. You remember that one? There's a new commercial that's like, free for free, 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 free. All right. So first game out of the box is a Nintendo GameCube game. The case is a little smushed because of the whole box scenario, which is why I'm like, get a bigger box. But this is Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Um, I believe we've gotten... We, we did get this. I was the one who obtained it, and it was only the disc, so I guess this is better, even though the case is kind yeah, of the, uh, up. Yeah, one thing I can tell you right away from this box is that it's not an original GameCube case. case just because... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a... So, uh, I've seen this happen quite a bit with uh, VGMs, and that's one, one critique. Another critique. Yes. I would kind of say is, like, if you're going to... Like get replacement cases. That's perfectly fine. But yes. Try, try to make them of the same genre. Like, don't give us a PS2 case with a yeah. GameCube case. But I love FFCC. It's one of my favorites, and they're porting it to the Switch soon. And, and I'm, I'm wondering if, if the, since this happens so often, like, is it really hard to get GameCube cases? Maybe. Is that is that a thing? Like, it might be. I don't know. It scares me. Uh, when I go to yeah. the next RetroCon, you're gonna ask. Uh, we're gonna have to find some some cube cases. Also, the Uke has really pointy boobs. Look at that. Look at the those cone boobs. boobs. Yeah, the cone boobs. But that's okay. Oh, no, this game, I've heard that this game is fantastic. It is fantastic. It's one of my favorite games. You, To play co-op, you need Game Boy Advances to plug into your console, which is hella expensive. But it's so fun to play with your GBA, because you can look down, look at your map, look at the inventory, look at all this stuff. I think that would be fun. I think it's be so cool. cool. It'd, it'd be hard to let's play that one. It'd be though. really hard to let's play, but if we had enough Game Boy Advances and link cables, we could do it. I'm game. 8 out of 10, even though the case smells like mold. I'm going to go with a 7 out of 10. Yeah. Just because of the complexity. Like, yes. I, it has me a little... Great game. A little though. on edge. Great game. Thank Next you, item out of the box is... It's another GameCube game. Oh. This is Resident Evil Zero. If you guys know me... And this is completely... Like, they didn't even attempt to yeah. do any of this. Which is fine. Uh, Both discs are happens. in there. Both discs are in there. If you guys don't know, I played Resident Evil Zero HD a little bit on my channel. And it will be coming back... 
Uh, mm-hmm. this year. We'll finish it. Yeah, we, we are going to beat that game. But Resident Evil Zero is one of my favorite Resident Evils. I'm kind of sad that it's uh, caseless because this is a great, great game. I love Resi, and Resi Zero is the, up there. The way I started thinking about this is when I get on incomplete games here at BGM yeah. or anywhere else for that matter, um, I now have a task. For the retro expos. expos that are around our area, there's two that we have kind of near us that we yes. kind of go to. Yes. So next time we go there, I'll be looking for, um, you know, like manuals or cases or anything of that nature for the games I have that are incomplete. Mm-hmm. Uh, that doesn't make it a little bit more work, and a lot of you are like, no, just trade it in and buy the new, like. Yeah, well, you, I, mean, I, you I don't do trade them in until I get a second one. I, I'm gonna try it out this year and see if it's more of an adventure for me. Like more, like, do I enjoy this? Like, yeah, it could be something that turns into a hobby. Like, yeah, that, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. I know some people do that. Yeah, some people do, which it upsets me when I don't have a complete game too. If it's a game that's a disc, but if it's a cartridge, I'm like, okay, we'll take. Yeah, cartridge. cartridges are fine. Cause yeah, it's impossible. To get complete. Complete. Like, that's, yeah. that's just not... It's not going to happen. And then if you get a complete, like, it's like, oh, well, I can't play this. Exactly. It's a sealed box. And it's complete, and it's worth a buttload of money. And now, now, now. Still, guys, I love Resi Zero. I would normally give this an 8.5 out of 10, but I'm going to say 7 out of 10 just because it's just a disc. Um, yeah, that does take down from... But I'm... It's so good, though. I love Resi Zero. Yeah, I'm going to go with a 7 out of 10 yeah. as well, because... The, it's out of case, but it, if it weren't, it'd be a lot higher. Yeah. Because I love that game as well. It's, really it's good. so good. I love RC Zero. Good shit. Next game out of the box. This is Mortal mm. Kombat 3 for the SNES. And I don't know. Mortal Kombat is one of those kind of like genres yeah. that I love. I always like. like see it in Genesis. Yeah. Like when I think of Mortal Kombat, I think, okay, Genesis, Genesis. Yeah. You never really think of, like, okay, there's only other systems, yeah. too, like... Yeah, well, for Mortal Kombat 3, if you guys don't know, there was a second one called Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, which is way better, which came out a year later, which has a bigger roster and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah. I've never actually played normal Mortal Kombat 3. I've only played Ultimate. Really? So I might like this. I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan. Yeah. I love that entire franchise. It's great. They're making a new one this year for Mortal Kombat 11. That really pr- puts it to the that, point. That, that, I don't know. I... I grew up with Mortal Kombat, and mm-hmm. then I got into, like, kind of the... Right around the PS2 era, where they started to, doing, like, a storyline, or... Like, yeah. What was that, uh, like, Mortal Kombat Chronicles or something like that? Like, Sub-Zero Chronicles, or... I don't know, it was Mortal something... Mortal Kombat that, Mythology Sub-Zero. Yeah. That game sucks. Like, <laughs> that, that's where I started to go, okay, maybe not. No, that, they, and they also did another one. There was a PS1 one that was, like, Mortal Kombat Mythology Spec Ops, when you played as Jax and Sonya, and it was very similar. Also, not very fun, but I think we should play it on the show, maybe. Yeah. Just to yeah. showcase it. Mortal Kombat 3, though, 7. I'm going to go with 7.5. Okay, you're going to up it. Yeah, but a little ulti- bit. Ultimate MK3 is like 50 times better. If you want a copy of Mortal Kombat well, 3, also, get Ultimate. Um, Mortal Kombat, like, I don't like the Genesis. Like, I really don't like and he's, it. And he's happy that it's a SNES copy. And I'm happy it's a SNES copy, so that... Yeah. So that's good. That's good. Thank you, VGM. Uh, next item out of the box is an M64 game. This is Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. If you guys don't know, I'm starting to collect N64 games because I recently got a lime well, green. If you noticed over there at my N64 collection, like I had like maybe 10 games. Yeah. And now like my stacks just keep on going higher and higher yeah. and higher. I don't know. Shadows of the Empire is a fun ass game if you play I it. really liked from like N64 on. Um, of the Star Wars games, yes. like those were really fun. They were. Uh, this one's a first-person shooter. Oh, it's, that one's a first-person shooter. Yep, this one's a first-person shooter. It's not like shooter. the normal like three D platformer. Not like, it's not a three D platformer. It's not a dogfighter. Well, there's a little bit of platforming elements to this, but it's mostly a shooter. Okay. It's still very very fun though. I remember playing this as a kid. Never actually owned a copy. So I'm not. I, I am Seven actually half, super sorry. pumped for this one. I'm gonna go with the name. Good. Like this is. The, I just love the N64. The cartridges feel good. N64 is fantastic. I, Such a good console. It's one of my A lot of people give it crap for kind of its graphics and its clunkiness, but yeah. like really, it is got so some good. of the best games on it. Like some of the funnest games, and it, it just the most nostalgia I get. Like even though I was born in 1992, I feel like the N64. Since I was starting to be a kid then, I was like yeah. four years old. I was like that wasn't my first console. I didn't get an N64 until like 1999 or something. But I loved. The N64 played the heck out of it. 
and now um, now that I'm old and I'm knocking shit over, <laughs> then I get to enjoy it again. So, yeah. with great stuff like 40 Winks and uh, Rocket Robin on Wheels. Plug, plug, shameless plug. Yeah, if you haven't checked it out, we just got uh, 40 Winks on the N64, which was not released. Mm-mm. It was... Um, for the N64. It just got released by Pico Interactive, who... Yep. Uh, sort of like got it and then said hey we're going to finish this which was great and was awesome. Pico's also working on other stuff guys and we're doing a, a versus on our channel so go check it yes, out uh, some guy named Nate or Vincent IBG you check him out on both check him out good shit there's your promo there uh, you next go. item out of the box this is going to be Ooh. Playstation 1 Spec Ops Stealth Control I also love the PS1 I don't know it's like that generation, which is PS1, Dreamcast, and N64, and Game yeah. Boy Color, holy shit. All great. There's nothing know. bad. I love all those consoles. For, for me, war games are kind of like sports games. Like they There's were too many of them. It's too oversaturated. Many oversaturated, and they're all just pretty much the same game, just yeah. with maybe different skins. Yeah. Like, but still, who made this one? It was Take-Two Interactive? Yeah, Take-Two Interactive made it, so that's not pretty good. They're the people who... What did Take Two do? I think they... I take Two do... To do... To do... To do... I don't know. I know they worked on other shit. Let's look at the disc. That's cool, though. It's a crosshair for crosshair. Ryan the disc. And it's hella clean like the kid never played it. I don't know. I like third-person shooters, but half the time, they're, like, cripplingly difficult. Yeah. Like, you have to do every single objective perfectly, or else you fail. So, if it's anything like that, I'll still probably play it. Spec Ops Stealth Patrol. I bet there's stealth to it, though, which I'm bad at stealth. I'm going to give it a 6, though. Okay, I'm going a little bit lower on this one. I'm going to yeah. go with a 5.5. I also, think it's going to be decent, but just also kind of run the middle. What the fuck is Grudge Warriors? I don't know. Maybe we're going to have to... Get that on the show. Get that, and... Yeah. It's from the it makers out. of Spec Ops. Ooh. We now have an NES game. This is Tetris 2. We have received Tetris in the past, but... But on different never, consoles. Never two. Yes. No, we got two. We got Tetris 2, but the SNES version. Did we get it? Yeah, we did. I totally... Because I got it. Oh. I, it went to my collection. Maybe that's why, because I didn't get it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, this looks like it's in really good condition, and... And I'm Vince is a complete NES just... collector, so he's going to like the NES version instead of the SNES version. I like the end label. It's colorful. Like, yeah. shit's going on. Tetris 2. I can't imagine this is any different than it's really not. Tetris. It's There's a it's little bit of different game modes. It's different just, color gems. Yeah. I think there's a two-player mode to Tetris 2, if I'm not mistaken. I know the N64 Tetris is... Versus? Yeah. Mm, maybe. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Tetris 2 NES version. How about a 6? I'm going to go with 5.5. Five. All right, Vince. I think it's going to be on the same level as the Spec Ops. Yeah. That's, it's going to be... Eh. All right, I'll play it. I'll play it for a little bit, but I'll be bored with another <laughs> Maybe we'll do it for the channel and do, like, the verses. Like, That'd be cool. In tribute to Portland Retro Gaming Expo and the yeah, uh, Tetris gonna, Tournament. Yes, we're going to do terrible and look really bad compared to the like, actual let's, professionals. Let's put up a clip of them playing or something like yeah. that while we're playing and see <laughs> the difference. Yeah. Oh, All right. shit. Next game out of the box. This is a classic for my gem. Probably the one game I actually really enjoyed on the SNES. Ge- it's on the, the SNES. Gen- it's also on the, the Genesis. Genesis. Uh, NBA Gem. I love NBA Gem I played this so all much. the time on Genesis. It's so good. It's so good. And it was the only game that I really Boom was like, Hey, you want to play Genesis? I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it. Maybe yeah. go. Like, Boom Shakalaka. He's on fire. Ah. That's how he sounds. Uh, label's in really great condition. It's and a little, it's a little yeah, faded. It's a little bit faded. But that's nothing. Like, yeah. Uh, no, no scrapes, cuts. No, no bruises. No gouges, anything like that. So. Yeah, I claim did a really good job with this. Yeah. And they, they also spun off into like the Midway branch to make NFL Blitz and... And NHL hits. And I think which we, I love all of those. All I think we've pointed so out fun. this before. Maybe it was on a list, maybe it was on a VGM opening once before. But my favorite part about this was the cheats to make like the presidents yeah. or like like or big head mode or yeah. constantly on fire was great because you had an infinite yeah. sprint and like your dunks were like <sighs> eight and a half. Six point five. Oh. I just love NBA Jam too much. I, I, I loved it as a kid. I played it a lot, but it's still on the Genesis. Yeah, and I know. It hurts it, you. It hurts you, Vince. I'm sorry. we still got a few more games in here. We've still got uh, five still. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. One, Dino, what are you smelling? What are you doing? They gave Dino. us 12. They gave us a one-up, but they still gave us 12. Weird. Hi, Dino. That's fine. Hi, buddy. 
All right, next game out of the box. This is oh, Wave Race for the Game Boy. Yeah, we've gotten Wave Races before. We've actually been doing a lot of Wave Races. Yeah, stuff, we got we got sixty four. Vince got the GameCube one. I, think. I got the GameCube one. I think I bought it though. Didn't I? No, no, you didn't. I got the N sixty four one through the through, through BGM, which is awesome. I love Wave Race sixty four. Never played the Game Boy. One. I've never played the Game Boy one either. Like, I totally I'm forgot it existed. It's gonna be a lot like some of the other racing games. That we yeah, have. Um, I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna be like the top down. Yeah, there's a lot of GB GB games. Like when they were racing games, they had to be top down. Like yeah, you know, because that's all the Game Boy could muster, which is fine because this game is still pretty fun though. Six and a half, maybe. Five point five. This is my 5.5 .5 box. That's what it's going to yeah, be. The 5.5 .5 box? Yeah. Stand you up. I think I still think it's going to be fun, but I don't know. Yeah. I Next tried. game out of the box. We've received this one in this box before. I got it last time. Yeah. So. This is a Pokemon the Trading Card Game. Which is pretty awesome and for the Game Boy Color. It's an awesome game, though. Yes, I have played it before. It, it actually is, teaches it is a you. a great game. It teaches you how to play the card game, which me as a kid, I never knew how to play the card game. I just collected the cards. Really? Like I was I, like, these are so cool. I didn't know how to play the card game. I didn't collect the cards. For me, my childhood was Magic Gathering. Yes. So I was in a Magic Gathering by the time Pokemon and Digimon and all the other stuff came out. So I was like, no, I'm sticking with Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! is my go-to. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! It's so fun. I might play another Yu-Gi-Oh! game on the show, guys. Or maybe unpin the one that I didn't beat. Cause and complete it. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? But still, six. I'm going to... I'm gonna give that one actually a little bit higher. That's gonna be like a seven point five. All right, you wanna try standing these up? That one stood up just fine. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. Game Boy games. Wait, hold up. It's like dominoes. Yeah. yeah. All right, this game is nice. Castle nice. of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse for the Game Gear. Yes, I love this game. It's very fun. It's this a, seems like it's going to be a 2D platformer, but I think is. all Game Boy Game Gear Game games, games are, yeah. are pretty much 2D platformers. This is also on the Genesis Castle of Illusion. The Genesis version is a lot more expensive. Uh, I've, 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 yeah. I've seen it. It's like, yeah. This one's like maybe 10 bucks, maybe yeah. a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Um, Genesis, I believe, is like 35. 35. Yeah, in Ish. stereo. That is true, but if you wanted the experience and you don't mind with it being a little bit zoomed in because it's on the Game Gear, the Game Gear version is just fine. How about a 7? I'm going to go with a 7 as well. I have hope for yeah. this one. I think this one's going to be good. good. Good Game Gear games. We need more Game Gear in your life. We do. Oh man, another one. I, I remember being a kid, as a kid, like, I had a bunch of Game Gear games, but yeah. had never owned a Game Gear. Weird. Yeah. It just like, or was it like when your grandma's right. like? Well, my grand, ah, my had... grandpa thought that I had a game, like, gear. a game gear. Yeah. And he would go to like garage sales around the area and pick up all these Game Gear games. And well, thank you, Grandpa. Give them to me, and I'm like, I don't have a Game Gear. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've got 20 games and I have a Game Gear. I ended up getting rid of all the Game Gear games. Oh. Uh, and now that I'm a game collector, I'm like. Now you're regretting uh, it. Yeah. Hmm. That's the sadness. All right, well, this game is a Game Boy Advance game. This is Medabots. I almost said Megabots. Metabots. It's actually with a D. Yes. So That's going to be fun to find the B-roll. That is, is there like a spinoff of it? Let me see it. It's a Metabots AX, looks like. Yeah. Oh, so, there's even more words in there. It's like a really small font. Is that sort of like a yeah. Metabots kind of game? Maybe. Like, it's made by Natsume. If you know who Natsume is, they made Harvest Moon. So they went from Harvest Moon to this. That's extreme. I don't know. Maybe that's a good game. Maybe, maybe. it's a fantastic I'm, game. I don't know. I need more Game Boy Advance games. I have high hopes just because of all that. How about seven? Seven. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give this six point five. Okay. I, I, Sounds I'm good. a little, a little skeptical. Little on the edge. Little, yeah. little skeptical. Yes. And lastly. Lastly, this is Gran Turismo game. Four. Holy crap! Is that a good game for the PS2? If you guys don't know about Gran Turismo Four, it was the first, and it's a oh, it's a real case though. A real case, yeah. Yeah. It's one of the first games to have endurance races. And by endurance races, I mean real-life 24-hour races in a Maybe video you game. played two or three times? No, Vince. I'm, I'm talking about this game's really fucking long, and you have to do one race in over a 24-hour period. No, I was just saying it's maybe even played more, oh. three or four times. Why? Because it's, so it's so clean? It's so clean. Oh, I thought you were, like, roasting me. It's like... No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, well, you've never played I don't know. Game. Gran Turismo wow. was one of those games that... I don't know. I didn't really enjoy the first one. I yeah. love... The second one, yeah, uh, for PlayStation, like it had such customization that I loved. 
The and only, then they took it away. The only problem I have with Turismo, which my brother will vouch for me, is the license tests. You have to do a license test, and you have to do perfectly, or else you can't fit the campaign. That's the only thing I don't like. I don't know if you've got stuck on license tests. I don't, know, I don't know. I don't think I've played four. I think... No, they do. Win, There's win. license tests in all of them. Is there? Yeah. I don't remember that. Maybe you maybe you either did them really well, or B, you were a kid and you just did free play, and you're like, Wee! I'm driving a Ford GT! No, because in the second one, I would get money and upgrade and customize and do all that stuff, so I, I must have been yeah. really good at it then. Cause, maybe. But when uh, the third one came around, they removed that customization, and you had to pick presets if you wanted to customize. And I'm like, That's weird. I don't want presets. I want to do my own shit. I want to do my own shit. I don't want your shit. Get your shit get out your of here. Get your shit out of here. Get your shit out of my shit. What's going on? You just lost a customer. You just lost my money. I'm not buying four. We're I'm, fine. We're six. <laughs> Why do I sound like this? Because I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. If you want a box similar to this one, with a big grip of games like this, you can go to videogamesmonthly.com and order yourself one. This is Check the 10-game box. Uh, tweet to them or Facebook them and say, if Insanity IBG is the only reason why you signed up, and maybe we'll get more games in the future. Maybe they'll give us another partner pack. Uh, the partner pack we got was hardcore, and I fucking I loved it. I it love you guys, fantastic. BGM. All you fine howdy people. Howdy. I want another partner pack. Oh, yeah, partner pack. Maybe. 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 But yeah, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this. If you have anything else you want to say in the comments about the games, mm -hmm. go ahead. We're going to see you in the, the next, next one. one. Later, Later, dudes. dudes.